Now, if patients who have sensitivity, especially due to erosive aspects, if patients are complaining about sensitivity, we can consider applying a var fluoride varnishes. And there's varnishes that are specifically developed, in this case, here's profluoride uh, L by VOCO, that are specifically developed to help fight hypersensitivity. And these varnishes do not impact whitening procedures in any ways, they don't interfere with it. So these varnishes are very interesting. And what they do is they go beyond just fluoride therapy. They take into consideration sodium, fluoride, and calcium. Okay? So pro, pro fluoride L by VOCO, fluoride L by VOCO combines these three components, so, sodium, calcium, and fluoride. And they offer short-term and long-term protection. It's really important to have calcium source. Fluor, fluoride is a, is a great additive to have. It helps put down fluoride appetite, and fluoride appetite uh, does a great job of helping to prevent caries and, and actually helps fight us to challenges. But calcium actually helps rebuild natural tooth structure. So calcium becomes an important additive, and we want to really look at that in conjunction with fluoride. It's not a one or the other phenomenon, but rather both together. And certain products really help combine both. Some of the indications of this product would be, you know, we use it in our practice after scaling and root planning to decrease cervical hypersensitivity. You can also use it in areas of cementum that have been exposed to recession. Uh, from a prosthetic standpoint, maybe you're around crown margins. You might be using it after bleaching when a patient's sensitive. So these factors that are here that lead to both short-term sensitivity decrease as well as long-term. So in the short-term, there's some fluoride components that are really beneficial in sodium fluoride. But in the long-term, that calcium benefit can really help out. Now, in addition to kind of sensitivity varnishes, there's true fluoride varnishes. And fluoride varnishes tend to work very well and is accepted more readily by patients versus traditional foam trays. We haven't used foam trays in our practice, uh, gosh, for seven or eight years now at least. A product like Voco's Varnish here adheres the tooth surface very well and allows for a much longer contact time compared to foam alternatives. In our practice, we also regularly use varnishes on adult patients that show a moderate to high carious risk as well as erosive lesions or issues. We don't believe varnishes are simply for children. They can absolutely be used on adults. Now, fluoride, through numerous studies, fluoride has proven to be an agent that helps prevent caries and change tooth structure that has been damaged to a more acid-resistant fluoride appetite. Traditional enamel demineralization, as we discussed, occurs at around a pH of 5.2 to 5.5, and dentin demineralization occurs at a pH of 6.7. On the contrary, fluoride appetite can take a much more significant acid challenge and does not demineralize until a pH reaches 4.5, excuse me, the oral cavity. To this end, Riemann Pro and things like Voco's fluoride varnish really help out. So these products, the fluoride varnish has 22,600 parts per million fluoride. That really helps to give an in-office regimen to help fight erosive and caries lesions. And there's also an out-of-office regimen we'll discuss shortly.